Hey there, Von Blurt here again. In every WordPress site, you're probably going to have to access your files via FTP, otherwise known as File Transfer Protocol. Think of it as an easy way to get into underneath your file system of your server and that allows you to upload and download files without even having to touch your publicly facing WordPress site. This is important because while WordPress sites are easy to use, they're not always the fastest Ferraris in the garage. Because of these inefficiencies, it is not favorable to use your WordPress site to upload media such as videos, images, and other large content. So therefore, we'll use FTP. So first thing, you're going to need an FTP client in order to do this. And there are tons of clients out there for free, trial error, and for cost. I won't tell you which one to use as it depends on your operating system and budget. I am a diehard Mac fan myself and I'm quite a fan of an FTP client called Captain FTP. I know, I know, it's like two or three versions behind. Don't judge me, I love it, okay? FTP clients pretty much all work the same. You have to first connect to a remote host, generally the server of your WordPress installation. You'll need your remote host name, your username, and your password to connect. So we're going to connect to my remote demonstration server. Once it is connected, you will have a remote directory and a local directory. You can then upload and download files to the server or to your computer by simply dragging files or folders in either direction. Here we're going to go to the wp-content slash uploads directory. We're going to drag it from our remote server here and onto my desktop directory. I'll take, it'll take a little time to think about what it's going to do and then it'll take a few moments to download the files. I've selected to my desktop. Now that it's complete, I can just check out my desktop and see that those files have downloaded. Here's a tip. If you have large plugins that you want to upload, this is the better way to do it and more, definitely more efficient. Another tip, using FTP is a quick and easy way to back up all your files from Word, your WordPress site. Do it and do it quite often. And that's just how easy it is, folks. And that's how to upload files via FTP to your WordPress installation. I'm Vaughn Bullard. See you again.